falling down 3-0 in the ALCS, and clawing our way back into the series, sending it back to Oakland, and winning it at home, taking four games from the Orioles in a row, has been one of the most satisfying storylines of this entire franchise. And now we have a chance, everybody, to finally play for the World Series title. We've won the American League pennant. Now take on the LA Dodgers, the team that led the league this year in victories. And it always seems like if you want to win, you've got to get past these guys. They represent our final challenge of this season. Have we truly turned the Oakland A's into a championship organization in these six seasons? Or is there still work to be done? I've had a blast building our team, and we'll find out in this series if we have what it takes. We have not played at the best of our capabilities in this postseason, and still managed to come back from a 3-0 ALCS deficit. Our pitching has been phenomenal. Our hitting has not. We've had very few breakout games. But if we can just put a few runs on the board, our pitching has been dominant in this postseason. We were the best pitching team throughout the regular season, and that has absolutely carried over. We've had big starts from the entire starting rotation. The bullpen's been fantastic. I love where this team is going into a fresh series against the Dodgers. Let's not go down 3-0 again. The series begins here in Los Angeles, and we're going through games one and two in this episode. Can the A's take at least one before the series shifts to Oakland for the following two, three games, depending on how we do here? Here is the postseason comparison. They are scoring far more than we are, but our pitching has been better. I don't think we can win this series scoring the 3.1 runs a game. We've got to get closer to the Dodgers 5. And if we can do that, I believe in this team. Even going up against Walker Buehler and some of the great players the Dodgers have, we got what it takes. So let's get this underway, everybody. We face their ace well rested in game one while we're going to pitch Logan Gilbert. And while he's not our ace, He's pitched very well in the postseason. I'm excited about this matchup. And Dylan Carlson's going to be leading off for us here in game one. What a fitting player to have take the first at bat after helping save the ALCS. And we're underway with the fastball at the knees. So I know it's been a little bit since the ALCS games. I had a week where I wasn't able to do a whole lot. So the last 10 days or so I've been... Pretty uh, dry on the channel. I do have a Raiders series up on the channel now. I'm doing that alongside this series. But as the NFL season kind of gets wrapped up now, I will probably be getting more content out than normal. Inside to Carlson. Down and in as Carlson works this count in his favor. Now it's three and two. I did take some practice swings ahead of this, and the swing felt pretty good. Doesn't usually feel good against Bueller as he clips the inside edge, and that is strike three. So after nine pitches, one down. A more patient approach seemed to pay off in the ALCS. I'll do my best to stay patient here. Bueller 2-1, missing high. There's a drive to right center field as Arai splits the gap and should have extras. Bueller certainly found the zone there and gave us a great pitch to hit. We have our first runner in scoring position. Cashing in runners has not been our specialty in the postseason. That's why we average barely three runs a game. We've gotten hits, we've gotten walks, but we've also left everybody, it seems, on base. Four postseason homers for Reyes so far. Didn't have to bite on that one. He finally throws his first slider. Avoided throwing it to the lefties. And we're going to try left center this time. It is run down and a rise stays put. Tyler Soderstrom gets a chance after helping get us a game seven win. 
Ooh, that was up and hittable. Hitting 273. Bueller working ahead. One and two. Got him looking with two fastballs on the inner edges. Bueller picks up a couple strikeouts, and that wraps up the top half of the first. So let's see if Logan Gilbert can start strong. I think his best play with us these two years has been in this postseason run. Making his fourth start now, Andres Jimenez leads off. Has three homers, nine RBIs so far. Fastball in there. That is ripped into right field, and Carlson's going to have to chase it. Jimenez with great speed makes it to second and hits the brakes there. So both teams get a double. The Dodgers get theirs to lead off the inning. Gavin Lux next up for L.A., and that one is low. Good fastball in there at 97. So Gilbert gets ahead again. Two strikes and a splitter hammer deep to right center. Off the warning track, it one hops the fence and the Dodgers are on the board in a matter of two swings. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Now we gotta work on limiting the damage early on and Gilbert's that guy I say, well, I've said recently, Get through the first, and then we'll see what we got. And he's not getting through the first clean lead today. So can you keep it to the one run? Give the offense a chance to answer. A third straight hit is going to have the runner heading home. Carlson too late. It's 2-0 with no outs in the first. That was a sinker and a location, you know, you want it. But excellent swing so far by L.A. Now, in games like this, of course, you got to think about getting the bullpen ready early on. So if we're going to have, you know, a need for a bunch of innings eaten up here, Henry Vasquez can certainly do that. He and Montez can go four-plus innings if, you know, their play is good enough to get that far. So you can't just, you know, accept defeat and try to get to the end, you know you still have to manage the game with the whole series in mind. And certainly 2-0, we're not, you know, we're not panicking. We just got to get an out and finish the inning. Facing Vaughn Grissom, 1-2, and by him at 96, a fastball. In this rebuild, we have rebuilt the team. But we also rebuilt a career for Cody Bellinger. Came over from the Cubs. Found his stride again at the plate. And then was traded back to the Dodgers. One and two. Left it up, but Geloff should have the play. Let's see if we can answer. Here's a guy who needs to play well if we're to win the World Series. You Neil Cruz. The numbers, they won't blow you away. But I think the timing of his big moments has been a, a difference maker. You know, he's made his big hits count. They've come in critical moments throughout the ALCS. And now facing Bueller in the World Series. 2-0. Fading away, a slider makes it 3-1. We've seen a lot of three ball counts already from Bueller as he falls behind and that's a late hack I think a little bit three and two to the rookie Cruz and that's upstairs and here's a player the Dodgers had kind of given up on Miguel Vargas I was pretty close to giving up on him myself as that hopefully gets to the dugout and it's still out of reach but Vargas has become a very key player for us, but he's still waiting to get it going this postseason. Three and one to him. I know we're getting a strike here. There's no way he just misses outside again. Three one. Wow, he did. So Bueller has already walked two in the second. And you're not going to get base runners every inning against this guy when you have them you have to take advantage and that starts here with Trey Sweeney 1-0 and 
Clearly, we're not getting the sharpest Walker Bueller in game one. This is surprising. Fully rested. Their series was over and done with, and ours went the distance. And he just cannot get a strike right now. Third straight batter to see a three ball count. Aaron Don is on deck. Made him throw us one there. He walks the third straight batter. Loading the bases for Aaron Don. What a chance for Oakland. And a guy who desperately looks to boost this offense. Dawn flies it out to center coming in. There will not be a tag. There just wasn't enough distance there. Critical at bat now for Zach Geloff as Walker loaded the bases. We've got to get at least one out of it. And even that is, you know, not making the most of our opportunity. Drops in the changeup, and for the first time in the inning, he is ahead with two strikes. Oh my! Just chased it upstairs. I don't know why that fooled me so badly, but now Carlson with two down. Bueller's fallen behind again. But if we get one here, we got to be ready to rip it. Carlson, foul on the cutter. And now evening things up on the fastball. He fouled it back again. I like the early timing on that pitch. 2-2 two, two again, and it's in the dirt. Drawing the swing, and the inning is over. Bueller loads the bases with nobody out and gets out of it unscathed. And that, you know, honestly, is probably going to lose us the game. That's a hard sequence to have and still find a way to win when you're facing a team this good in the World Series. Full count to Kyle Lewis as Gilbert looks to have a better second frame. And this one starts with a walk. Poke to right where Carlson has a play. One gone. A drive deep to center. Testing Don. He's got it. Jimenez trying to turn on the fastball. He falls behind. A strike away for Gilbert. Got him with a 12-6. So we've only had one good swing so far in the game, and it was from this guy who has another hit. Luis Sarais is two for two. 50 pitches for Walker Bueller. At any rate, he's not going to go very deep into this game. I know it's only 2-0, but just the way we wasted that opportunity, I think the only way we win this game is going to be if we can hit a home run or two. I think that's going to be the way it goes. 3-0 now to Reyes. Gets a fastball right over the plate. Because he's been so inconsistent, I've kind of made him throw me strikes at times in those three ball counts. As he walks another batter. So three straight reached in the second. Nobody scored. Two reached to start the third. I don't think anyone's feeling confident, though. Not till we can show we can swing with somebody on base. Soderstrom, it's a towering foul ball. We have to straighten these out. Jam to left center. Not going to bloop in with that. That brings up Cruz. Wow, he swung through a slider right over the middle and everything. That was the pitch. And this one works pretty well. 
but it's not going to advance their eyes. That was a home run ball he swung through, and now two straight outs. That was also a, a perfect, near-perfect swing. Vargas to left, and we just cannot get the contact. Check swing from Lux as he is ahead three and one. Already seen a lot of walks in the first few innings, and here's another one. Past third base, but foul. Contreras behind. Got him on a high fastball. And now Mookie Betts, whose numbers really dipped significantly this year, but his postseason's been really strong. Not the player he once was, but still a playoff performer. Good pitch from Gilbert. Nasty strike three. I'm expecting they could run here with two down. They have speed at first. A good borderline pitch again from Gilbert. Arise, makes the play in one swift motion as we are through three. And we've already left six aboard and have failed to get some runs off of a off day for Walker Bueller. He might have one or two more innings in him. Sweeney taps the curveball. That was... Timed up all right. And again, a full count is drawn. Started out with an 0-2, but Bueller's two strike pitches haven't been sharp. Three and two. How about another leadoff walk? Come on, Aaron. Something's got to give, man. You're hitting 100. You're better than that. So much better. But we know how valuable his defense is, and I just can't take him out, especially against a team that can hit the way the Dodgers do. His defense can make up for value lost at the plate. Not even sure why I have Geloff hitting under him, honestly. Doesn't make sense right now. 74th pitch coming here in the 4th. Buy him at 95. Couldn't catch up there to the inside fastball. And then the cutter. Strike three. Going back to the ALCS, this feels like the first time we played against Tristan McKenzie where we had base runners and couldn't score. But he wasn't pitching nearly as good as he could, but was still putting up zeros. And that is swung on and missed. It's the sixth strikeout for Bueller. And we have nothing through four. Meanwhile, I think this could end up being the final inning for Gilbert. I will not have him face this order a third time. I don't think anyway. Opinion subject to change. Tapper. Looks like Soderstrom won't have him in time. Put it right between the catcher and the pitcher. Now we have Kyle Lewis. Facing a 2-2 count. And pulled to Vargas. It will start a double play. It just doesn't seem like we can score unless we hit it over the fence. Top of the fifth. Bueller still in for the time being. Guess who has both of the Oakland hits in this game? We only have a couple. Our eyes lifts it to left. I'm sorry, right. He's now retired. Nasty curveball from Bueller. That's a seventh strikeout. Here's one hammered to deep center field. Back to the wall. And it's caught. Bellinger robs the team that rebuilt his career. Taking a homer away from Tyler Soderstrom. 
So we put all these runners on base. So we can't do nothing with them. I say we got to hit a home run. What do we do? We put the swing on the ball that we need. And Cody Bellinger. I don't know if that would have been a homer, actually. Might have gone uh, off the top of the wall there. But a great play regardless. I'm going to have Gilbert at least face Hernandez. We'll see about the top of the order. Good call. Here's the heater. Got him. Fastball's actually gotten a lot of chases today. Looking to get a little more out of Gilbert after all. I love what he's done with the fastball today. The secondary stuff has been hit harder. Two strikes on Jimenez. I'm going to go with a curveball here. Two and two. Not close that time, but he goes around strike three. I'd honestly say that Gilbert has outpitched Bueller to this point. Score doesn't reflect that. But I think if you look at how many runs you'd expect Bueller to give up, based on what he's thrown today, it's a lot more than nothing. Turns out he's got a chance to go six after all. Here is Cruz. And a fastball taken. Not taking this one, but it's pushed to right center. And Mookie Betts is there. Vargas lifts one. High and deep to left center field. And it bounces on the warning track. And he's got himself a double. It is the first non-Luis Arise hit for the A's. Sweeney lifts it. Right field. Betts will be tested and his older age. Jan Vargas is in safely on a risky call to move to third. And now Aaron Don's got to find a way. If there's anybody we should be a little extra patient with, it's probably A.D. Running out of gas is Bueller. He wants one more. 3-0, and oh, though. He's got work to do. It's got to be right where I want it here to swing. Wasn't it? And it's flied to left. Aaron Don is retired again as we leave a runner at third base. Pass to rise. A base hit. Let's see if we can get the out there. He used to work in older baseball games. So the leadoff man on. We still have Logan in there. I think the way we've hit today, or maybe the way we haven't hit today, is keeping me from wanting to put in our best arms right now. It just doesn't feel like a, a 2 nothing game that we've been a swing away from tying or taking the lead. Going around is Mookie Betts, whose day at the plate has been dreadful. Three strikeouts. Clipping the edge against Grissom, and now it's Gilbert looking for one more strike. Actually, he needs a little more. That could do it, though. It's his second double play, finishing the inning. Wow, Bueller staying in? Nobody coming out. Let's take a look if anyone's even getting warm. They have Karinchak and Visia getting up. He's now cross triple digits and falls behind Geloff. That's a walk. How many innings now? Like four have had leadoff walks? Leadoff man has reached countless times for us. They will make a change now. And let's see if they go lefty or righty. It's going to be Evan Phillips. Okay, none of the above. He wasn't even getting warm, I thought. So it's his ninth appearance. He's been really strong. And has only allowed one run in eight innings, it looks like. But hey, it's someone new for us to face. We couldn't score off Bueller. How about Phillips? 
Carlson is under it. Had a slider top shelf and just pops up. The A's didn't suddenly change overnight when we made it to the World Series. We're still the same team that has struggled to put up runs. Even in the, the most favorable scenarios. Two strikes on her eyes. Fighting to stay alive on three good pitches from Phillips. And they got him picked off at first base. It's Geloff back to the bench. I did extend his lead there. I wanted the run. Perfect. Time for us to make a change as well. We're going with Andre Palante. There's that 12-6. Always a fun pitch to see of his. Let's go again. Just the piece. Nice fastball inside. Kyle Lewis checks in with a one-out single. How is that a ball? It could be lower and still be a strike. Okay, I guess we're not calling anything down here suddenly when that was a strike multiple times for Phillips on the same pitch in the top of the seventh. What a walk. Looking at three straight strikes and you're on first base. Must be nice. Cruising left. That's a catch. There we go. Have to get him to chase something here. Can't trust the strike zone as it is. Two and two. And it's apparently high. Three and two to Jimenez. And he walks to first. Bases loaded. Dodgers have a chance to... Deliver the dagger here in the seventh. We're going to have a mound visit with Palante. Don't think this is probably the best at bat for him. Here comes Jonathan Hernandez, fourth appearance. Ooh, he missed upstairs, but a strike. Now he misses over the middle. It's pulled foul. Got him, and we're out of the inning. We've had championship level pitching the entire postseason. The offense has to do their part. We're facing James Karinchak here in the eighth. Big cut from Reyes, empty. It's pulled over to short. And flipped on to first. Ninety-five down the middle. Soderstrom has a hole in his bat, but patiently waiting for a good pitch again. And Karen Shack falls behind. Fouled back. We had a power swing there and everything. That was late though. That's a tad late. Can't expect anything good there. Ball four. Base runners are not the issue here. We have three hits. Cruz takes away. Big cut from Cruz and now down 0-2. Not biting on that curve. He drives it out. Deep left field. Cruz ties the game. He got a second chance. And he delivers his second homer of the postseason. What a swing for the rookie of the year who just delivered one of the hits of the year. Karen Chack got a little careless with these breaking balls. Tried to keep throwing them. 
and eventually missed high. Eli Morgan is now warming up for the bottom of the eighth. Dodgers want to get lefties up now. Inside, another count in the A's favor. A strike is in there. It's 3-2. A lot of walks drawn already for the A's. What does Karen Chak throw? Full count. It'll make him do it again. Ah, that's in there. It's strike three. So we'll get Trey Sweeney now, who's drawn two of those walks. It will not bring in a lefty here. This will be the at-bat to do it. Ooh, I wanted something up. We got it. Ah, that's late. Two strikes for Karen Chak. That was late, too. But we get our home run, and this game is now tied as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning. What a moment for you, Sneal Cruz. But someone needs to follow it up. Here's Eli Morgan. He's done well against lefties, not great against righties, as he faces William Contreras. In there. Pasteurize, a base hit. Held to single. Good change up from Morgan. He's ahead of Betts quickly. Unreal, man. That should have been his fourth strikeout. That'll do. Follows it up with a perfect pitch. Ahead of Grissom now. Let's get him to chase. Not there, taken off, quick recovery. Soderstrom throws out the Dodgers catcher. And now it's two down, two strikes. Morgan on one hop, ends the eighth. And they're switching to their lefty now. They bring in Justin Brule. And immediately it's Aaron Don. Late in the game, you like to have your good defense in place. Lefty, lefty for Don, who's barely, I'm not even sure he's hitting 100 any longer. If we could just get him aboard, though, he's got dangerous speed. Rule 2 1. Drops it in, strike two. Yep, too early. But this is one of our best lefty hitters right here in Zach Geloff. He's got a slow slider. If he misses, we might have something. Ahead of it is Geloff. Good pitch on the edge. Man, that wasn't even close. Busted the bat. Really wanted the check swing. And Geloff is tagged out. Great stuff here from Justin Brule, and now facing Dylan Carlson, who's 0 for 4. Under it is Carlson, and that won't leave the infield. Took a big swing at it, but we're going bottom nine, hoping we play some extra here in game one. Cody Bellinger leads off. We have Penn Murphy, an option here, our closer. But Murphy staying in for a fourth batter. He went around. Strike two on Cody. And that's strike three. Down goes Bellinger. I'd like to make a change. I'm going to put an Aaron Ashby here. He's shut down righties. Lefties have done a little better against him. He's got a righty here in Kyle Lewis. Fastball or a sinker is in there. He got him on three pitches. Ahead of Brandon Lewis. 
Ashby sends us to the 10th in game one. No extra inning runner. You got to earn the run the same way you did the first nine innings. Luis Sarais. I think I, I want to pull him here. I think I want to put uh, Vladdy in here to not have the lefty-lefty matchup and get the slight defensive boost. Guerrero's role has been reduced here in the postseason. There's still time for a big swing, though. Leading off the 10th. Fresh off the bench. Going after that cutter. He's thrown really good cutters. Tough ones, too. I've been too aggressive on him. Guerrero, two strikes. Nearly hit. It is a 3-2 count now. There have been many walks in this game. And we'll have another one here. Now, by having Guerrero here... I've really used all my first baseman. I don't know if I can really run for him now. I would need to be able to move like Vargas, I think, to first. He can. And then I could run Royce Lewis and just switch over the infield, play Geloff at third and Lewis at second. And I think in a game like this, go get your speed out there. Royce Lewis in the game. Fran Mill Reyes facing the lefty. Oh my. How early was that? It was early, but you need to be to catch one inside there. And now a good sinker. We're down two strikes. Lewis gets a step. Lewis goes. It's in the dirt. Contreras pops up and is too late. So the go-ahead run is at second. We need this to be a productive out at the least. It's in the air. Pulled to left. And we can't run on that. Would have been a risky call. Might have worked. And now Soderstrom. He hits with one gone. Soderstrom, right center. He has given us the lead here in the 10th. And Soderstrom's not stopping at second. Hustling with a triple. A left on left triple for the catcher. He's different. They don't make him like Tyler Soderstrom very often. One of our best swings of the day right there. They'll go with Jose or Keaty. His numbers are brutal. But they wanted the fresh arm to face Cruz. Well, they got it. No! I want that second run. A beautiful swing followed up by a messy swing. So Vargas has to get a hit with two down. Vargas, right center. It has a chance, but Bits runs it down. So we head bottom 10, and we have grabbed the lead on the Tyler Soderstrom triple. And now Penn Murphy will enter the game. It's his fourth save attempt of the postseason. It's only a one-run game. And we have to switch up our defense now. So Vargas to first. I trust Geloff at third. That's how we'll play defensively. Royce Lewis at second base. So the Dodgers will have the nine hitter and then the top. Here we go. We wanted to take one of these games today. Here's our chance. Pitching with a lead for the first time in the World Series. Count is two and one. Popped up. And Soderstrom, who gave us the lead, gloves the first out of the inning. Andres Jimenez is next. He's been one of their most dangerous postseason hitters. Ooh, that's up there. 
clip the inner edge. Two strikes. Did he go? He didn't. One and two. Did he go now? Yes, he did! One more is all I'm asking. Gavin Lux. Hammer deep and foul. That was close. Now he misses the other side, and it's two strikes. Penn Murphy, the big off-season signing. Ball. Low ball two. Ball three. Contreras on deck. Slams the door, and the A's take game one. They got here in comeback fashion. They take game one in comeback fashion. What a steal against the Dodgers in game one. Highway robbery. You Sneal Cruz with the homer, and Soderstrom with the tiebreaker. What a game. I played most of this game thinking we had already lost. Wasting early chances, knowing we're facing Bueller, who got better throughout the game, but he still walked six. But we got our big swings, and you know what? Our average runs per game is going to drop now. It was at 3.1. Now it's going to drop closer to three flat. That's one of the biggest wins of the entire series. And that means in game two, Cole Phillips will face Bobby Miller. And now it's no longer us hoping to get one win and go back home, you know, with home field advantage. We've already clinched that. I want to go up 2-0 with them having to face Joe Michael in game three. Although, we have a travel day, obviously, so Michael could be 100% for game three. We'll see what happens. We've made it to the World Series, and now we're leading the World Series. Game two. That's Bobby Miller making the start. He's 0 for 2. 0 and 2. Giving up a 1.5 whip for the Dodgers. Their priority has to be cleaning up the walks that hurt them in game one. We had a walk with Guerrero. We finally brought that one home. A walk, a stolen base, and a triple. And now we start fresh. Carlson! Deep drive, right field, and Betts runs it down. It sure feels like there's a lot of room out there. Whoa, he just smoked him in the head. Bobby Miller is down. They retired a rise. Wow, that was nasty. He's exhibiting concussion-like symptoms. And the medical staff, not they decided to remove him, but I think you need to remove him. There's no keeping him in. Julio Urias is coming out. Now, he has a lot of starting experience here at the Dodgers, but now this is out of nowhere. Let's see this again. That's it. So hard. Hits him right in the logo. Fox wouldn't have shown you that one twice. That was a 100 mile per hour pitch, 107 off the bat. That's a nasty line drive to get hit by. About the worst it can be. You Sneal Cruz should be wearing a Superman cape as he hits. So with Julio Urias, fastball slur, change up and a two seamer. And obviously now we're facing a lefty. So he didn't get to look at his numbers before he came in. But this season, he was no longer a starter. He still pitched a ton of innings. He's their inning eater. He plays the Ashby role in their bullpen. He did it, though, with a 4.09 ERA, 7.11 in the, in the postseason. He's not striking many out. He's walking a lot. And now he's got a 
go pitch five innings on zero notice. Oh my! To deep left field, Cruz does it again! Solo shot in the A strike first. Rookie of the year, and he's looking for more accolades on top of it. He just hung it over the middle, and that's what I'm hoping they do every time he's at the plate. Just give me something off speed in the middle that you clearly missed, and let's send it out of here. That was the slurve. It didn't slurve too well. Now Reyes to center. Bellinger puts it away. Now is Cole Phillips ready for this moment? He's only made two starts. We've often skipped him or not gotten to him. So it's our third series and it's his third start. He faces Andres Jimenez. And that is scorched to left. Cruz on a run makes the play. I guess we're going to talk about Cruz a lot today. Out number two. One pitch, a rise, fields. Quick first for Cole. Well, we know we can handle hitting lefty-lefty with Tyler Soderstrom today. This here is a two and two count. Now full. A leadoff walk, sound familiar? Vargas has a cold streak. I didn't want to take him out of the lineup though. Ooh, I want to see him get back on track. You got him, fastball away. Sweeney lifts it in the air to Cody Bellinger. Two down. And I did move Geloff to the eighth spot. Don in the nine. Geloff gets to face the lefty. Oh, that's the center. And Soderstrom better stay put. And this is Aaron Don, whose average does not even reach 100 at the moment. He's got two on and two down. It's pretty bleak. He comes in just three for 33. Combined with last year, his postseason numbers are atrocious. I almost feel like a bunt here is one of his better options. Not going to do it. But I think that putting down a bunt and letting his speed reach might do better than his bat. He gets a good one, and the swing is not what you want. That's going the other way. Don foul. And I thought off the bat he had it. Three and two, the runners are going to leave, and both have good speed. Wow, Aaron. Aaron, I want to sit you down and ask you what is wrong with you. The 11th pitch of this marathon at bat. Left field, on a line, caught, inning over. Cole Phillips only threw five pitches in the first, by the way. You might need more in this inning as he's already behind 3-0 on bets and walks him to lead off the bottom half of the second. Big cut from Grissom. Now an even count. And Vargas can't make the play. First two reach here in the second. Big chance now for Cody. By him at 90. And a ground ball to second. One there. The bare hand from Sweeney. If he gloved it, we only get one. He's got command of his fastball and a two and two count. Ooh, not a competitive slider. 
tempted to go right back to it. 3-2. Base hit. Lewis delivers to tie the game. And it was a better pitch too. Lewis wants two and he gets there. 109 off the bat. Really squared it up. So we got ourselves a tie game. Dodgers had to switch pitchers. And now Brandon Lewis to left. And it's flagged down by Cruz. Luis Arise up with one down and a 2-2 count. Looking for something worth swinging at. Ooh, nasty. Here's you, Sneal Cruz. Two for five with two blasts. He got his first off of Urias. I can't believe he threw a slur first pitch. Now he just gets a piece of it. And at third, the play is made in time. Second time through the order here for Cole Phillips. Jimenez is down looking for the second out of the third. Don in center. Has no issues here. A dangerous hitter in Fran Mill Reyes. Down two strikes. Got on top of it and that is a fortunate ground out for the Dodgers Soderstrom drives one deep right field but Betts is camped under to right center it's Vargas and it's caught by Betts wow he's still got it Ahead of Contreras, here we are, bottom four. Contreras watching three go by as the count goes full. And Phillips makes a fantastic play. Mookie Betts striking out on the slider. Urias has come in to give the Dodgers some really big innings today. Now on to the fifth. Trey Sweeney leads off. Gotta wonder if he's reaching the end of his stamina, though. Starting off 3-0 against Trey. Got a strike. Worked it full. And then walks him. To right field and under it, Betts should have a routine play, and that'll bring up Don, who had one of our best battles, but it ended somewhat predictably. Not biting there. He's got to throw something better. Another three-ball count to Aaron Don. And a strike. I'm ready to swing, but they keep throwing a lot of pitches that I'm not willing to go after. Ground ball, and it's right to second, and it's an inning ender. By Cody Bellinger to lead off the fifth. This is probably the last inning I'd ask of Cole, but he's pitched really well. I know Ashby's good to go today, and that one is weakly hit the tray. Good throw. Morgan probably won't use in this game. I'm not going to try to. And then I might have to use Haynes. Ooh, under that. If I could get these lefties in outside of Ashby, that's the tough part because Ashby gets so many innings. I can use him against, you know, those obvious lefty lefty matchups you want. So I don't often get to the other guys because we get distance out of our starters and Ashby. A lot of times that bridges you right to the closer and you win. 
I want that to happen again, but we'll see. Yeah, Cole's a little bit different today. Missing inside to Lewis, so he gives up the two-out walk. Vargas makes the catch. Cole Phillips doing a great job here in L.A. Landon Knack make a change here from Julio Urias. It's their third pitcher, and they don't use Knack very often. I don't know much about him, but I did play the game Knack, which was a launch title on the PlayStation 4. That is scorched to deep center field, testing Bellinger, who can't get it! And Carlson's got a big hit again. Doesn't stop at second. He winds up with a stand-up triple to lead off the sixth. That welcomes Landon Knack to the game. Like clockwork, we then pop up or strike out in the next batter. And now we get Cruz. This one really needs to count. We just went from a 75% chance to win to a 58 in that pop-up. That's how big, like, missing right there is. That's going to center. I don't like seeing him come in like that. Come on. Two pop-ups after a triple. It's like we just cannot stop this at all. That was just late, too. Like, it's just on the border of being good. Smashed foul. 3-1 to Reyes. Knack, 13th pitch, and it's not close. So that'll bring up Soderstrom. Nearly hit him. Knack falling behind. I know I haven't been the most patient when runners are on. I'm just trying to get something good. I think there I'm dialing back the... Uh, you know, what am I willing to swing at? Kind of judgment. And so I just want something I can put in play, you know, in that situation. That's going to reach the seats, and now Knack is a strike away from getting out of this mess. Whoa! I, I was sure that would go to the backstop. That came out sideways. And he walks Soderstrom, so they're loaded now. And it's Vargas, the former Dodger, who has not had a great postseason. It's in there, a strike. And now it's inside. Slider away, and now ahead. And a base hit to center! We deliver! And we're gonna get our second and third runs. <sighs> Screwed up the base running there. I'm not used to actually getting hits when runners are on base. But the former Dodger is the one who delivers today. Wow. I was just trying to get those runs home. Three to one. Cole Phillips. Still in. Lifted to Don in center. He makes the catch. I haven't had this much fun with a Cole in L.A. since playing with Cole Phelps in L.A. Noir. Who else played that one? I think that game came out around uh, 2010, 2011. I didn't get to it until a couple years ago, and I thought it was great. To deep left center, and not even Don can get to this one. Extra bases for Gavin Lux. As the Dodgers look to answer back, and we'll see if I want to make a change here. Slow roller, big out to Vargas. William Contreras grounds out, and that brings up Betts. And I know he doesn't hit lefties as well as righties. We're making the change here. Thank you for a great outing, Cole Phillips. You did your job today. Here comes Aaron Ashby. 16 strikeouts in 12 innings. And looks to leave Lux at second. 
Strike to Betts. And strike two is in as well. Blocked. Wanting to advance. Soderstrom takes care of Lux. We head to the seventh. So how about scoring more than three runs? Would that be fun? That was a goofy swing. Hasn't been this guy's postseason as far as the hitting goes. Wow! Aaron Don, line drive back up the middle. Highly interested in stealing second base, by the way. First pitch, going. Carlson, smash to right. He lifts it deep and gone. Two run shot, four run lead. And a stunned Dodger crowd can only watch. This guy has been an unreal playoff performer. I wasn't even thinking that'd be a home run on that swing. I didn't think I hit that one as good. I don't know. It was a fastball up, though. Perfectly crushed. And a rise. He follows it up with a ground out. And we go bottom seven. Ashby gets ahead of Mookie Betts. So how does the strategy change now? Because I might be less likely to leave Ashby in. Because I'd like him to be available for game three. I know he gets a day off, so I feel like if I only drop his stamina to a certain point, he should be good to go for game three with an off day. Slow roller on to Sweeney. One down. This guy is the best reliever I feel like I've ever used. Grissom is just flailing. He never had a chance. Aaron Ashby. He's the best. I love this guy. Trying to pitch away to you, Sneel Cruz. It's not working. And Cruz has done it again. His third homer of the series, and the A's lead it 6-1. I think we've seen the full evolution of Yusniel Cruz this year. From promising rookie to the best bat in the lineup. And this really came about in September, when he had that unreal stretch of home runs. It's not even just like the amount of home runs, the average, it's the timing. Wow, that could have been another homer for Reyes. They just drilled Vargas. After he delivered the go-ahead runs, the former Dodger, they throw at him. Can you believe that? Royce Lewis popped up, brought him in for Sweeney. He's retired. Ricky Griggs is in here for the eighth inning in a five-run game. Brandon Lewis coming up empty on a couple swings. And strikes out. Oh, a fastball gets away from Griggs, and it hits Hernandez. Came out of his hand a little funny there. Two down. Lifted to Carlson. And we'll take this lead to the ninth. Not much for us in the top half of the ninth, and now we just need one good inning on the mound. 
What a start to the series it's been for Oakland. The Dodgers were so close to taking game one. It looked like they were going to win behind our inability to drive in runs. And then we took it from them. Ricky Griggs now in a five-run game, bottom nine. One of our best offensive showings in the postseason. Of course, it comes in a game where the Dodgers' plans were quickly thrown away with the injury to Bobby Miller. Lux, three and two. Strike three! Contreras cannot keep it fair. And now Griggs can't find a strike. I for sure want him to get through the Mookie Betts at bat. That's two strikes. And a walk to Contreras. I think I like our lefty matchups against this lineup. And games three and four will both be pitched by lefties. Mookie Betts, one away. And down two strikes. A drive to left center. Cruz giving chase. Can't get it. Off the wall and retrieve quickly. Betts is safe. Just barely. And the Dodgers aren't going away quietly in game two. We'll have a visit here. And I think we do need to get Murphy up just in case. I had Montez getting warm because I liked uh, the lefty matchups primarily. We'll trade uh, an out for a run here. Just low to Grissom. So the Dodgers creating a threat. Know they need more. And have a chance to load the bases for Cody Bellinger. And that's exactly what happens. So here is Alfonso Montez, who's only pitched once in the postseason. And now, Cody Bellinger has a chance to make this interesting. Popped up. Well, flied to Cruz, and he's going to have his arm tested. He fires it home offline. Dodgers at one. Bottom of the order up here, Kyle Lewis. Strike in there at 95. Lewis takes a swing, it's fouled off. Dodgers down to their last strike. And it's in the air, Cruz in left. The perfect player to seal the game two victory. The A's take the first two of the World Series. And now we hop in a plane and head north a little while. It's a short flight. It can't be much more than 45 minutes. And the A's will have a chance to win this series at home. What a satisfying episode. We have won six straight. I didn't think we'd come in here and win both. I wanted to see us win one. And I thought game two would be our better chance just not facing Walker Bueller. But big hits and big moments. And we're two wins from that being ours. What a start. Led by playmakers Eusenio Cruz and Dylan Carlson. Backed up by championship caliber pitching for two more postseason games. The Oakland A's have a chance to complete the rebuild here this year. When we continue the series, Joe Michael will be like 97%, it looks like. Very high. I'm going wall the chuck in game three. We know the Dodgers are going to be desperate when this series moves into Oakland. But Ken Wall the Chuck's going to pitch game three. They'll get Joe Michael in game four. We'll see where the series goes. There's a chance next episode is our last of the season if we win both again. What a start to the World Series, everybody. And we'll see if we can finish the job. Thank you all for watching and supporting this series. I'm so excited that we are this close to our goal. And it takes two more wins. We have five chances to get them. 
So that is going to do it for today, and I'll be back again soon. Raiders is coming. The rest of the World Series is coming. It's an exciting time on the channel. So please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your feedback below, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Have a great day.